Well, this just won't do. Can you imagine trying to order a Mackie's through this tiny little hole? Or even worse, trying to force this window down while you're driving along? Or constantly dealing with this rattling? Well, today on Project 380, I'm fixing this issue. Pretty much all the issues with this window are caused by a bushing that runs down here. Most of the time the bushing swells up and seizes in the runner. So that needs replacing. To start things off, we need to get this whole door card off. I'm going to start off with the door pull. This is only held on with one screw right in here. And it's actually easier to lock the door first to gain access to this screw. Make sure you unlock it again before you lock yourself out of the car. Now the door handle itself, this is held on with three screws. One here, one here, and one underneath this little bit of plastic. Be careful removing this plastic as you can mark the handle around it. Now, if you've got manual windows, we need to remove the window winder. This can be a little bit tricky, but if you grab a cloth and work it behind it, that'll work this pin down and allow the window winder to pop off. Then remove this little plastic ring as well. The Mark 1 door cards are just held on with plastic poppers all the way around. Just be gentle popping these out, as this door card is only a bit of plyboard and tends to bend really easily. Now the door card should just slide up and off the door. Behind that door card is a load of weatherproofing and that's just stuck to the door with some semi tacky bonding solution. We do need this off, but we need to remove the door handle first as it bolts through the weather sheet. With that out of the way, we can remove this weather sheet and pull the door pull through the access hole in the weather sheet. Be careful when you're pulling this off, this black sticky stuff gets absolutely everywhere. Now to get the window out, we really need it in the halfway down position to gain access to all the bolts here. To do that, we're gonna put the window winder back on without the little clip. One hand on the winder and one hand pushing the window down. You are gonna have to force it down. Then you should be able to see three bolts, one in here and two back here. That just a 10 mil, so undo all three of those. With those all undone, the window should be pretty loose, but the window will not come all the way out of the door until you remove these little stops down here. There's only two of them. They are 10 mil bolts there and there. And they look a little something like this. To stop this rubber stretching when you pull the window out, I'm just going to pry behind there and pull the two plastic poppers out. And that should give you enough room to stop that stretching. Then you should be able to wiggle the window out. Then you can lay the glass on a nice soft surface. So this is the problem here, it's this bush. It's not quite round anymore, it's swollen up and that's what's causing it to stick in the runner. I'm going to be changing this bush for a Delrin window bush from Moss Europe. I'll leave the link in the description down below. But this simply removes with a T30 Torx bit. I've cleaned the old bushing up a little bit so you could just see how bad it is. Compared to the new one, this one is completely ruined. To assemble the Delrin window bush kit, you want the bush, then the crinkle spring washer, and then the nylon washer, 
and then the metal washer. On some models, you won't need this metal washer, so check the height against the old one first. Then we can put the bolt back in, and then you can put this back into the window. Don't over tighten this, you are, after all, tightening onto glass. Now we're gonna give this a good clean up before we put it back in the car. To make the window go up and down more smoothly, I suggest removing this rail here. It's just one bolt up the top and one bolt underneath the door here. If this bottom bolt is really rusty, I suggest you leave this well alone. They will snap. Then you should be able to remove this rail completely. With this rail out, we want to remove all the old grease as it's gone really hard and useless now. To clean this up, I'm just gonna use some brake cleaner and a rag. And then pack it with some high quality grease. With that all greased up, you can put it back in the door. I'm only gonna finger tighten these nuts for now to allow the window to align it in a minute. To prevent damage to this weather strip, I'm gonna remove this top plastic tab on the window. You can simply squeeze that and push it through the window. And then once the window is in the car, you can simply push this back into the window before bolting the window to the mechanism. This front rubber runner does tend to get a little bit tight as well. So just use a bit of silicon spray grease all the way down and this too should help the window run up and down nicely. Make sure you pull the spring washer and the nylon washer towards the shoulder of Delrin Bush before pushing the window all the way down. You can see that hole there where we took the plastic clip out of. We could just Poke that back in with the lip towards the top. That catches on the metal mechanism. And then we can push the window down. Make sure all the bolt holes are lined up and we can bolt the window back into the mechanism. Remember not to do these up too tight. You are tightening onto glass. Now with the window bolted in, we can wind that up and down working all that grease in. And when we're happy that that's running up and down nice, we can tighten this runner up. Then if you wind the window all the way to the bottom, you can put the window stops back in. These stops are adjustable up and down, so hopefully you can line them up with the paint marks that were left previously. If not, just leave them semi-loose for now. Do the window all the way up and check where the window sits and adjust them if needed. And then tighten them up. And check the window hits the stops properly. That's loads better. Now all that's left to do is put everything back onto the inside of the door. The first thing you want to reinstall is the weatherproofing sheet. Feed the door handle through the sheet first. Now try and stick this back on and realign it the best you can. Make sure it's pressed down all the way along and then bolt back on the door handle. Now for the door card. If you've broken any of these clips on the back, make sure you replace them and make sure they're sitting in the door card correctly. And then you can hook it into the door and pop it back on. Then the door handle could go on. and then the door release surround. Don't forget to unlock it again. And then the window winder. Don't forget to put the little plastic washer back on, reinstall the retaining clip back in the window winder and wiggle the window winder back on. Now you can visit your favorite drive through with ease once again. If this video helped you sort out your window issues, leave it in the comments down below. Leave us a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.